Maya, how to protect your Shakti power? This is a message for the women out there who are waking up to the spiritual being, who are starting to dance the dance of life. You know, the beauty emerging, the Shakti energy waking up. This is really within the tantric context and it's a, a challenge that you might face. It is at the moment you feel this, you know, delicious vulnerability, this delicious openness inside of you. And, you know, all this energy starts rising and all this beauty starts coming out, there is a sense of vulnerability. It's like a part of you might contract to the judgment or to the response that you get from your environment. Maybe people around you are going to, you know, attack you or judge you for being, you know, too feminine, too open, too wild. And so when you are tapping into these energies, into this beauty, into this reverence for life, into this devotion, and you're singing to the gods and goddesses of the universe, you know, there is something to understand. It is that with this opening, with this freshness, with this love, with this blasting of your chakras, you need to anchor a new power as well. This is what I call the Kali power. Every woman who is powerful in this planet has weapons. Okay, we are talking about going to an energetic war where you have to protect. You are a defender of this temple, of this inner temple. You are a defendant of this Shakti power, this energy which is streaming through you. And it's not a battle between matriarchy and patriarchy. It's, it's more subtle than that. You know, it's a response from the force that are already established. And the moment you start opening up new gateways, there is going to be an energetic response. And this happens no matter what this new vibration is. You know, the moment you start creating something new that is not yet existing on this planet, the energies around are going to test you. And in this process of testing, if you get scared, if you get afraid, if you retreat, contract, go back into your cave, then you are going to miss a point, miss an opportunity to expand. And so what I encourage you to do is the moment you feel that there is an energetic response that feels uncomfortable, you know, it might be somebody attacking you on Facebook or a social network, you know, it might be a strong response. Some of my friends, some of my friends, Tantra teachers, they have been under massive attack, under character attack, for being too sexual, for being too juicy, for being too open, too wild. You know, whether it comes from men or from women or from traditions that feel offended by what they have to say about feminine beauty and feminine liber liberation, the, what they do is like they develop this Kali power. The protection doesn't need to come from outside. It doesn't need to come from a male in your field. It doesn't need to come from an organization or from a system. It's first the embodiment of the power of Kali. This Kali power is a warrior energy. It is the Durga. It is the conqueror, the empress. You know, the one riding this tiger and, you know, having this massive power and energy and resources inside of her. So the moment you start developing the beauty and the essence and the refinement and the inner child and the, the, um, you know, the vulnerability of this beauty, then what you need to do is anchor this Kali power at the same time. This is the ultimate solution in, in my experience. It is that when you are a woman and you are opening up and you feel sensitive and vulnerable, tap into this Kali power, bring it in the core of your system and realize that, wow, in this embodiment, there is something that anchors itself in your being and gives you this protection that you're looking for. And it's an energetic protection. Is the goddess, you know, a powerful goddess energy coming into the core of your being and sending a message out through you, which says, don't mess up with that woman. She is under protection. And uh, what is very important is that you need to own that power yourself. You need to anchor it in your system. Because that's what is going to protect you in the long term. It feels like something fills you up energetically. It grounds your lower chakras and activates your being to a state, an energetic state, which is a state of power and presence. You don't lose the sensitivity, you don't lose the femininity, but it's a parallel archetype that you want to anchor into your field. Kali power. If you want to bring it to your system, a very simple way to go. Kali Jaya, Kali Jaya, Kali Jaya, Kali Jaya. 
Kali Jaya, Kali Jaya. You repeat that mantra for five minutes every day in the morning. And this is going to anchor that power in your system, to your beauty, to your Shakti. I love you.